This is Lucas Carnahan reporting at the Expo Center of ESA 2012. And I'm standing here today with Dr. Emma Weeks. She's from the University of Florida and she did a poster on the spectral sensitivity of a nocturnal mosquito, Culex quinquefasciatus. So, Dr. Weeks, in as few words as possible, could you please describe to us exactly what it was that this study was about? Of course. So not a lot is known about the spectral sensitivity of different insects. And Culex quinquefasciatus are often used, monitored using light traps. So what we wanted to know is can we learn more about what different wavelengths Culex mosquitoes can see and use that to help inform trap design. I used electroretinogram testing to, to measure the insects' responses at different wavelengths and I plotted that on the graph that you can see here. Now this graph shows a peak in sensitivity in the UV range and then a later peak here in the green range. When you try to fit different pigments to that, to that curve to find out what pigments may be in the eye of the mosquito, you get this graph. And this graph shows different numbers of pigments. You can see here this is uh, one pigment fitting at the 550, the red dots being the actual data. And you can see that this curve does not fit the data well, neither does the two pigment model or the three. And actually the only models that fit well have four or five pigments which are fitting here the purple and the yellow. And when we do statistical analysis on this we can see that these have a R-squared adjusted of around 90, 98 and 97. So these models are fitting well. And the interesting thing is that actually Culex quinquefasciatus have, um, there's another mosquito, Anopheles gambia, another nocturnal mosquito that also has five rhodopsin pigments, and it's likely that Culex have the same number of rhodopsins as this other nocturnal mosquito. So our data matches the molecular studies that have already been done. Thank you very much, Dr. Weeks. That was a fantastic presentation of a fantastic poster. Thank you, Lucas.